and welcome back to the Brian Mary web series. I'm really excited about today's topic and I have to give you a little disclaimer at the beginning. So I have appropriately um, labeled this video as passions to profits. And some of you may be rolling your eyes right now and that's okay with me because I really, really love this term and I know it's said a lot in our industry, but here's the thing. I can think of no better way to describe what it is that you have to have when starting your entrepreneurial journey. You have to be so passionate, so passionately in love and committed to what it is that you're doing because the road is gonna be bumpy, that you are driven every single day. The passion is so, so strong that failure or quitting is not an option. You're so driven by what it is that you are set out to do that you're able to do it in a truly authentic way and monetize the process so that you're actually enjoying what you do every single day and the people that you serve. So that's my little disclaimer about passions to profits and why it means so much to me and why it resonates so well with my community. So, so what is passions to profit? And better off, how do you actually do it? Because this is the thing that I hear a lot from people. I'm really good at this. I'm really good at this. And I really like to do this. And I like to do this. But how do I turn that into a business that actually supports me and my life of freedom? And so it really comes down to asking yourself a few key questions. And I went through this exact same process when I started my business. You know, I knew what I wanted to do, I knew who I wanted to serve, but I wasn't really clear in the beginning on how to go about doing that. What it is from my personal story, from my qualifications and skills that allowed me to do that end result. And so it's these questions, this system that I really encourage you to walk through. So if you're just starting out and you're like, I know I wanna start my own business, I know there's more there, go through this process. If you've been doing it for a year or more and you're not excited every time you start working on something or it feels too much like the nine to five, the job, someone's giving you tasks to do, then go through this process. If you've been doing it for even longer and you just are ready to change directions and go towards something else, do this process. I promise it will really, really help you get really clear on what it is that you offer and the best part is and what we always hear in this industry is it's time to niche down and it'll really help you get to that final final piece so let's kind of dive into what those questions are so the first thing i want you to do is i want you to think about three major transitions i've talked about this before in the web series three major transitions or the pieces to your personal story just jot them down what comes up for you what type of things um changed you as a person what type of instances got you from person a to person b maybe who you are now and write those down so that they're very very prominent in front of you throughout this whole entire process so of course number one get in touch with your story right no surprise there then I want you to think about your qualifications and your skills. And I want you to think further than just college or, you know, um, trainings that you've done. I want you to think about all the things you've taught yourself, all the books that you've read, all the different things that you've incorporated into your own life and how you've go grown from them. So maybe you're a health and wellness coach or you desire to be a health and wellness coach and you you know, by changing your diet, by incorporating fresh juices, by, you know, movement every single day, maybe you started doing yoga, you lost 50 pounds and completely transform your life. Those, my friend, are skills and qualifications. Maybe you're like me, and when you started doing your business, you had no idea how to code, but through creating your own website, you taught yourself how to code. That is a qualification and skill. I don't care if you went to school for it, I don't care if you got a fancy certificate for it, I don't care if you graduated a class, you know, if you, you went through a whole class for it. Those are important, but that is not the end all be all. Be all. So think outside the box with this one, all right? The next question I want you to think about is, what would people say that you are good at? If you were to ask your mom or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or, or your kids or your best friend, what do you think I'm really good at? Like, what would you always come to me for advice on? 
or guidance on or support on and see what they say. And I want you to write all of these down, okay? I want you to keep them all really close together because it's really important for this very final piece. But the next thing I want you to do is now I want you to think about what you want to do. Because here's the thing. The entrepreneurial journey is going to be a long one. And there are going to be days when you're tired or you're feeling a little defeated and you have to get your head back in the game. But you want to enjoy what it is that you're doing. You want to enjoy getting on those coaching calls with your clients. You want to enjoy going on live video. You want to enjoy, you know, blogging and sharing advice and tidbits from your life to other people. And so don't skip this step. Don't just think about what other people want or maybe what you're really, really good at. I want you to think about what you want. What could you do every single day that would just make you so incredibly happy all the time and write that down. So you have these four pieces and the final piece is to see what's the connector. Do you find that you're always pulled to health and wellness? Do you find that you absolutely love helping people with their relationships? Do you find that you love business and marketing and could do it every single day and it just excites you? What is it? And that is your niche and that is where you start. And people get a little worried at this point in time like, oh, there's so many people in this industry and that my friend comes down to messaging and I will get into that later in this web series. But if you're ever looking for more support on messaging, then you should join Authentic Brand Builders because I cover it a lot in the private community. And of course, there's a link below for that. But this is the beginning. This is how you turn those things that excite you, that light you up, that you actually love doing into a business. And that's the point, because if you wanted to just create a business just to make money, then one, you could probably continue working at your nine to five, right? Like what's the point? But it's probably not gonna sustain itself that long if you only focus on the money. If you lead with your passions, if you lead with things that excite you, that other people come to you for advice that you could talk about and read about and enjoy every single day, your business will thrive and you will thrive. And that is the point. You'll always be growing and expanding. So I hope that was really helpful for you, especially if you're just starting out. I do have a complimentary workbook that goes along with this. It actually gives you the space to write it all down, plus a couple little bonus messaging pieces as well. And there's a link below to grab that. So I hope you take full advantage of that. And I can't wait to talk to you guys soon for the next web series. Bye.